When my guest plays his violin, outrageous miracles take place, like supernatural plastic surgery. One lady had all of her wrinkles disappear. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. I am so excited about my guest. You're probably familiar with him because he was with the musical group Silverwind, and you've probably heard of his songs that he was the principal writer of, uh, Bullfrogs and Butterflies and Music Machine. A whole generation grew up with these songs. Uh, George and Banoff, you've sold something like three and a half million. Uh, <laughs> but that doesn't excite me. You know what excites me? is when he plays his violin, miracles erupt, marriages are restored. People have cosmetic plastic surgery supernaturally. They have dental miracles, the blind see, the deaf hear, and they're sort of like, uh, Georgian, it's almost like an inner healing of yes. all the, the troubles yes. that people have had. When you play that violin over them, Broken hearts get healed, and marriages get restored, and supernaturally, this is the release of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and you know what's so amazing? He started in, he was born in communist Bulgaria, uh, and in Bulgaria, you were taught there was no God. Of course. And how in the world did you start the first rock and roll band in Bulgaria? Well, it was our response uh, against the communism trying to indoctrinate us, and it was our way of trying to find our identity. A little rebellion, too? A little rebellion, <laughs> too, quite a bit. And uh, we heard the, the Beatles and some of these sounds through the shortwave radio. They were blocking everything we could hear a little bit. But then they stopped you. They stopped us because they realized they made a big mistake. Why? Because, well, because uh, we weren't even that good, but there was no way to prove it. And, but we were the first. And so they put us on TV. There's only one channel. So everybody stuck watching us. Overnight, we're the number one band. There's no number two. So everybody <laughs> everybody flocked on our concert. I mean, we packed the largest holes. But why and, didn't they like that? But because young people get together and start clapping. That is like next to the revolution. They don't like that. They're scared. Okay. He, he escapes from Bulgaria. He comes to America, but he's not used to having much food in Bulgaria or in America. He didn't have much money. So some Christians are giving free food for three months. Did you enjoy the food? I love the food. And <laughs> my mind goes, there's no God. You know that whatever they're talking about, my belly goes, oh, yes, there is. Get back in there. And it was my belly that led me to Jesus because I kept being hungry every day and they kept offering food. So I go for the food, but really it was more than that. Okay, he goes up on a mountain and he's being real. As a matter of fact, George, and that's what I like about you, you are a real person. What you see is what you get. He goes up on this mountain, and what did you say to God? I, I didn't know what to say. I've never even, I don't even believe in God, but I, and the thought came to me to say, God, do you exist? So, so I, I just said, okay, you know he does, so go ahead and say it, get it over with. And the moment my breath left, and God, do you exist? And everything changed around, it's like, uh, someone with the came near me and like a like with his ear listening, like a large, like a large ear coming and acoustics change, like everything around me changed, and and I'm going, who, who, who this? What is this? And there's nobody, but I can feel somebody, and I begin to talk. And the more I talk, the thicker, the closer, the thicker, and just the faith that God exists went right through me like this, and I collapsed in the dirt. I was just so like overwhelmed that all these years I didn't know that he existed. Here he is now. And I says, who are you? What, what are you like? And I can 
not see, but I could feel it. I want to know everything about it. And I shook and cried. And, and with that nearness, a whole day on the mountain. That was my first day with God. And tell me about this song we're going to have you play, Pour Out My Spirit. Oh, that's the song that uh, came and saved the Lord just, uh, you know, 1995. A great revival came, a great renewal came, and my marriage was broken, and my everything was falling apart, and, and the, the Lord poured His Spirit on me, on me and my wife. Well, guess what? Lord, pour out your Spirit. Fire deep into my heart, sanctify some of every part, make me whole and pure. This is my prayer. Suddenly, out of nowhere, wind is blowing through me. Pour out your spirit, Lord, fill me up. I will fall way down in my soul. Let your river all flow. Joy unspeakable. Full of glory, full of praise, new song I'm singing, can't keep my feet. Ha ha. Yeah. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. music that imparts heavenly joy, celebration, and freedom. Tens of thousands worldwide have been powerfully touched by George and Benoff's ecstatic worship and praise music. Now you can experience it for yourself. Call now and get two worship CD albums by George and Banoff, The Joy Celebration Collection, plus his anointed violin ministry CD, Caravan. 25 worship songs for a donation of $30. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9096. While listening to this anointed music, thousands have been miraculously healed. Others set free from emotional and mental disorders. Through these 25 songs, the atmosphere of heaven will fill your home, car, church, wherever you choose to play it. Get ready to enter a deeper intimacy with the Lord than ever before. Don't miss out on getting two worship CD albums by Georgian Banoff, The Joy Celebration Collection, plus his anointed violin ministry CD, Caravan. 25 worship songs for a donation of $30. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9096. Call or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 9096 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Georgian Banoff. And uh, Georgian is raised in a communist country. He's an atheist. He comes to America. He loves the free food, Brother Christus. For three months, he gets free food. And he gets some love, too. So he says, God, I have to know for sure. Do you exist? Are you real? And he had an encounter with God. But then, shortly thereafter, the fire of God came upon him. Tell me about that. I was, they say, there's more, there's a Holy Spirit. And I says, what is that? And they said, just ask him and you see. And I began to ask. And suddenly I had this sound experience. I hear the thousands of voices shouting and screaming and in joy and ecstasy. And then, boom, the heavens opened just like this. And here I am in the throne room and thousands of angels, millions, are swirling around the throne. And he couldn't even see God because he was covered with them. And they were all over him and going, woo, like that. And just, <laughs> just they were like so ecstatic. And, and fire was coming out. And before you know it, a bowl of fire, boom, and it hits me. 
and it just fire comes inside me and burn everything it's like good but almost too much and it was very unbearable it was the presence of God was unbearable and I I remember him uh, you know showing me the future this my future was was a, a, the glory of the Lord filling the stadium and I was actually transported I cannot explain it how I just saw myself in the future and I wasn't old, but I wasn't young like I was then. It's kind of oh, like well, right now. I can now. tell you how, because there's no time in eternity. So you see everything when you're in that realm. So you saw your f future. What did God show you? And the future, I was, minist I was in this, this large stadium, and, and, uh, and, and, the, and the glory of God, like, a, uh, like a, some sort like of fog or something, like a cloud was beginning to cover the bleachers. And they disappeared as, as the glory of God come, it just disappears. And, and uh, there was... Uh, the, the, the people disappeared because the glory was so thick? Yeah, they were covering. Yeah, they yeah, were completely okay. engulfed. Uh -huh. But I saw the moment just before they get covered, the eyes like, they're seeing the, the Lord. I saw the eyes, they see God. And were there, were there a lot of people in this stadium? Oh, it was like, a, I would say, uh, 50, 60, or one of those largest venues, 50, 80,000 like, like people. Like a football stadium. Like a f large football stadium, yeah. And, and mm -hmm. from the bleachers down, it came, came down and down. And when it, when, it covered, when it covered the stage and I collapsed, I went back to my present. It was just amazing. I, and is that far off? No, with because... With stadiums. Uh, what, can you picture this? Stadiums will be filled with such a tangible yes. presence of the glory of God uh, that it'll be like a fog. You won't even be able to see the people. You won't see it. But can you imagine, Georgian, being immersed in that tangible presence oh. of God? You thought that fire was something. Can you imagine what that's going to be like? Yes, because it's coming on earth and it's coming to the largest... Uh, facilities that the, the build for, for like sports are going to be filled with Jesus. Now, believe it or not, uh, after this experience, some three and a half million records were sold and God launched his, his, his ministry, uh, but he got to the point where, uh, let's face it, you deal with people you're going to get disappointed. Yes. And he had disappointments. His wife had disappointments. Their marriage was a shambles. On the outside, he looked great. Uh, the, when the door was closed, uh, he and his wife knew it wasn't so great. But he has the solution to all marriage problems. How did God solve your solution? It happened in the presence of the Lord. It became so thick and so real, and my wife began to weep. It was just a, a meeting. Uh, of a glorious meeting and and she began to weep and she had a normal mascara because she didn't expect that she would cry and, and she had not felt anything in, her, in, in, in meetings for years. She, so she goes to this meeting and the the same mist we're talking about, that same glory, glory. came on her. her. But how does this solve your marital problems? Well, she, at first she cried, then she began to laugh and begin to rejoice. Even I didn't know what to do and I never seen my wife like this. And the Lord says, support this, support her joy, support her uh, intoxication. I'm intoxicating her with me. I've never seen that in, in her. And, and uh, the Lord says, support it. And so that has been the key, that plus together. But, 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 but the thing I want to know is I, I have experienced what you're describing. Right. And some of you have, some of you have not but it kind of, it, it disappears after a while. Does it disappear with her? Well, two things. The Lord says support that manifestation. Don't let anybody mock her. And if they do, just, just separate yourself from them. In other words, make, uh, so protect that uh, and, uh, experiences on, on your wife, number one. And number two, take time every day. That's what I never did before as a, mar as a married man. I never have a d devotion together with my wife. She said hers, and I have my devotion. But now we begin to spend time together with the Word and with the presence of the Lord and discuss So together. how's your marriage now? And now, is, uh, here we are, 15, 16 years later, we've taken a month and we'll go on vacation together. We enjoy each other. We actually love and enjoy each other. Oh, that is so we, wonderful. 32 but, years marriage. 
there are so many miracles going on with George, and I don't know where to begin. Tell me very quickly about the chicken that multiplied. Well, we, because I got saved through food evangelism, I use that everywhere, and I feed the nation, feed the poorest of the poor, and we're in, we're in, uh, we're in Maputo, the, the southern base. I have two chicken miracles. Which one, which one shall I share? The, the multiplication? multiplication. Okay, so we're, uh, we're preparing food for 1,200 people, 1,200 chickens. We bought chicken dinners, and they fried it all night, and the smoke comes out, and the next day the, the, the neighbors are coming, another 1,200. And so we had no chicken for more than 1,200. So we prayed and began to feed our, our children and our guests for our conference. And when, when the, everybody had their pieces, 1,200 people, there was still more, more chicken in the pots. And it's like I've you heard You had enough, enough food for, for, for how many people? 1,200. And how many people were there? 1,200 people were there. Outside was another 1,200 and didn't know what to do with it. So we began to just feed our own people, the one we prepared you're, you're for. You're telling me the food for 1,200 fed 2,400? 2,400 people. And, and were they all well fed or did you no, just a tiny bit No, the piece of chicken, each? we didn't ch cut nothing. We just a, a full piece of chicken with rice and everything. And we had rice, but we had no chicken. Chicken doubled. You had enough for We had everyone? enough for 1,200. How did that happen? Just like Jesus says, they multiply the food, that's exactly how it happened, as simple as it is. Listen, I am sure the people there, I am positive the people there gave God glory. I want Georgian to play, I will give him glory. Beauty from ashes, beauty from ashes, diamonds from dust. I have a new heart, he has my Eyes for shaming, now I'm proclaiming, yes. tell, tell my, my story. story. How about you? Yes, I will. I will give him praise, yeah. Every song I sing, I just want to bring glory to my King. Jump in the river of glory, jump in the river of glory. Step out and God will do the rest. Here we go. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Sid Roth has found the key to worldwide revival. This is God's time to reach the Jewish people with his love. Messiah Jesus has torn down the wall dividing Jew and Gentile. The two together form one new man to reach the world. God's method to reach the Jewish people is through signs and wonders. This is why our website, SidRoth.org, is jam-packed with tools to equip you to move in signs and wonders, understand Israel, and the Jewish roots of the church. Log on to SidRoth.org today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Georgian Van Offen. Georgian, when I think about you, I think about a man that has great, great joy. But I also think about a man that has great, great compassion for the children around the world, for the people living in garbage dumps. Yes. I mean, most of you have never even been to a garbage dump. Uh, tell me about one experience when you go to the lowest of the low of society. We just returned from uh, Nicaragua and in a, in a place called Bluefield, the, the garbage dump is like a ravine and the trucks come and they just open their... Dump it. And they begin to dump it and they don't they don't give opportunity for people to collect what they want first. So what people do, they have these poles, long poles, like 10 foot poles with a hook. So as the, the dumps are pushing stuff out, they catch things. And there are big poles and uh, just was there. And it's a very dangerous because it could slip and you go down at this very deep ravine. And what, what crushed my heart is, it's like this child, uh, nine years old, stepped in for her mother. 
his place. I don't know what happened to the mother, but there's this child with a paw three times bigger. It's not made for children. And this brave child is trying to do what mom just can't do because of whatever happened to her. And, 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 and it, it, I don't know. I, I don't have no words to describe the, the, how injustice that is. Because for a little child to, to do what even, even a mother shouldn't be doing, but she's doing that to, to kind of help mom, it, it is, is, is the depth of injustice. And Jesus paid to eliminate the, the, the enemy of starvation and, and poverty and degradation and, and uh, where the dignity is so, so destroyed. And, and I think I, I, that's, it drives me to go to say, no, we are here. Jesus loves you. And, and we, we bring food and we bring uh, water and bring gloves, but mostly we bring the hugs of Jesus and encourage, encourage the people. When you come, with, do you bring your music? play the violin? Yes, absolutely. How do they like it? They, oh, you, they they, it? You you must make their, not their day, not their uh, their week, you must make their year yes. when they do something like that. Yes, uh, one lady said to me, I have heard of an instrument called violin, but I've never heard, never seen it because she lives in the dumps. But she, someone told her about an instrument, so I was there and serenading. We serenade them and we feel like Jesus is playing a love song to them. Uh, you know, I, I think my notes here, it says, you like to go to places like where the, the lowest of the low, uh, these dumps, because this is where Jesus lives. What do you mean by that? Well, he says, uh, you visited me when I was in prison, uh, and you, you fed me when I was hungry, and you put clothes on me when I was naked. And they said, well, when did we do that? Lord, we, we never saw you in prison or hungry. He says, when you went to the garbage dump and touched those that lived there, you touched me, you clothed me, you loved me, you visited me. Because Jesus is where the human being, where every human being is, Jesus is there. Georgian, uh, our viewers would be very upset if you didn't tell me some of the things that happened in Youngstown, Ohio, especially, tell me about the person with the wrinkles. Yeah, during the worship, this lady experienced tingling on her face. So she felt the presence of God in many ways and for through the years, but she's never felt this kind of a tingling, but so she enjoyed it. Well, so I, this evening, <laughs> this evening, I, I, I have two daughters. They're, they're turning 16 and 14 this summer. And I said, do you guys notice anything different about me? I didn't want to point anything out. I said, do you notice anything different? They're like, Mom, you don't have any wrinkles. Where'd they go? <laughs> There were so many miracles there, but this is the amazing thing. The name of the city is Youngstown, Down. Ohio. <laughs> Did you, you get that? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Georgian, I want you to play your violin over our people. How would you like Georgian to play his violin over you? Because when he does that, miracles happen. You're gonna, he's actually prophesying over you. Would you do that right I now? I will. I will, and I will just start playing for you and bless you because God is keeping you younger and you expect sure. to be younger and younger like, like Caleb and Joshua and strong to, to usher a whole new generation into the supernatural takeover. The right. pro Thank you so much for your boldness to be like the contemporary Joshua. So I'll start with you and then we'll play. Okay. I feel like someone has lost hope for your marriage. I've been there. I know what it's like. But God's saying, look to me. You've tried to love your, your wife from your own and you've, you've failed. But now look to me because I am the source of love. Ask me, trust me, 
and rely on me and I will give you love, supernatural love for your, for your, for your, for your wife and for your family. I also feel someone has a broken uh, heart from a, 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 a relationship experience and God says, I'm your healer. I've come to heal you and I am your wholeness. I'm the Prince of Peace, Prince of Shalom. Shalom is wholeness. So the guy is saying, I'm releasing my wholeness to you supernaturally. How do I get it? Just open your heart right now and just receive it. Just he's right there in the room with you. He's in the garbage dump in, in Managua, but he's also right here with you, right in your home. And you maybe feel like there's a garbage in your heart. Well, you know what? He's here to take it out. And for the person that says, God, do you exist? All you have to do is ask him. Play the violin. Music that imparts heavenly joy, celebration, and freedom. Tens of thousands worldwide have been powerfully touched by George and Benoff's ecstatic worship and praise music. Now you can experience it for yourself. Call now and get two worship CD albums by George and Banoff, The Joy Celebration Collection, plus his anointed violin ministry CD, Caravan. 25 worship songs for a donation of $30. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9096. While listening to this anointed music, thousands have been miraculously healed. Others set free from emotional and mental disorders. Through these 25 songs, the atmosphere of heaven will fill your home, car, church, wherever you choose to play it. Get ready to enter a deeper intimacy with the Lord than ever before. Don't miss out on getting two worship CD albums by George and Banoff, the Joy Celebration Collection, plus his anointed violin ministry CD, Caravan. 25 worship songs for a donation of $30. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9096. Call or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 9096 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural, my guest says many are looking at Islam as the primary threat for the last days, but they've missed the true sleeping dragon. 